Okay, Saints Row the Third. One of the most popular games I've ever been interested in showing off. <laughs> As in more than six people have heard of it. Pretty much, yeah. Let's uh, get off this title screen before more boobs show up, because there's a surprising amount of them. Cornucopia of nudity. <laughs> see. Should we stay on normal difficulty? Uh, yeah. Normal, you get <laughs> pinballed around uh, in large crowds, and it does not get fun. I don't know why there's a difficulty selector in an open world... Like a uh, power simulator. Yeah. Come on, Star Wars text scroll. Oh, you're joking. But... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got like. Five minutes. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> what's risen, your Saints Row history? Risen from humble beginnings to do <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been uh, playing the Saints Row series? Since two, probably? Um, I played some of the first one. Um, one of my friends nice. got into it. Um, but two, I think for generally anyone that likes Saints Row, was the point that they jumped on um it was the point when it stopped being a generic gta clone and started coming up with its own personality and then saints row 3 was when they just decided you know what people like the wackiness and if there's anything that gta isn't it's fun let's go mm -hmm. with that Certainly in those days. I think 3 was when it actually like sort of took off. Oh, yeah. Uh, For some reason, was... 2 wasn't as popular. 2 was not exactly a cult game, but it was it was the game that people in the know liked, you know? Yeah. Um, like, the way I always described it is the GTA is that friend of yours who's a complete dick to you behind your back, but it's like, no, we're totally besties. We'll hang out, you know? You're a great person. And then the second your back's turned, they're like, nah, man, fuck that guy, he's a complete douchebag. Where Saint Row is the friend that insults you to your face, but would take a bullet for you. Super like, it's got the heart that GTA lost a long, long time ago. Which is a weird thing to say, Japanese but... commercials. Easiest money you'll ever make. <laughs> Grand Lawson is right up there. You ready for this? Yeah, I never played the first one. I love the second one, though. I my own stunts. First one, you're not. But really it uh, it gave them some bad habits, yeah. leading to Saints Row the Third. Yeah, and fourth just goes on a speeding rocket to Wacky Land. Oh yeah, it's it, it's arguably like the the third prototype game that we never got <laughs> because there is so much like scaling buildings, doing impossibly high jumps, gliding. Um, but it's, it's just so silly. It's unbelievable. Yep. Love it. So in this universe, our gang member, Johnny Gat, is the equivalent of Richard Nixon. Yep. Yeah, I hope he signed a waiver. In terms of infamy. Oh, hey, who doesn't want to be Johnny Gat? Nobody dies! It's true. I am always saying that. You all know the drill. The thing that I absolutely love about the fourth one as well is that there's various uh, different types of voice that you can pick, and one of them is literally mm -hmm. just Nolan North. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, Troy Baker's oh, in course. this from before he was, you know, overused and everywhere. Oh, that's different. It's almost like Postal 4. Hmm. Where you get to choose your postal guy. Yep. Postal one and two guy, postal three guy, John St. John. Yep. And then I guess some other one. Yeah. Forget who the other one is. I guess we should do uh, postal. <laughs> <laughs> I, at one point, I was seriously considering doing uh, an LP of uh, postal, the um, special edition that got released. Yeah. 
We're gonna die. What happened? Do I do? I mean, honestly, it's ridiculous that we've never done a postal game. Frankly, I'm shocked. There's so many of them, and they're so perfect for us. <laughs> Yeah. No, screw this. We're doing post. <laughs> <laughs> okay, change of plan. Fuck this stream. Come back tomorrow. I don't even own any postal games. <laughs> um, I've got one and two. Um, not three, obviously. Um, four. Yep. Uh, brain damage is on my wish list. Um, played some of that. Not bad. But it's more of a, it's a retro boomer shooter than anything. Right. And Postal 4, I understand, is very good fun, but still very much in early access. Oh yeah, this game is definitely more cowardly than Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I'm not allowed to jump out of the high-rise. I can't kill the hostages, though. Oh yeah. Um, when you grab someone, if you press the same button, E, to throw them, um, you can mm -hmm. toss them into walls like the Punisher. Nice. Speaking of, this game was made by the developers of the Punisher. Yep. And can... the first Saints Row was a Punisher open world prototype that just changed at some point. <laughs> Not that you can't tailor anything. Mm hmm. So, uh, what's plan so, yeah, this series is also built for us. It, it doesn't take precedent over a prototype <laughs> <laughs> or postal. Not cool, man. Got yeah, prototype on the mind as well because we just mentioned a Saints Row Four, so similar to that. Yeah. We'll need to set those above the vault. Hey, I. With actually open um, world games. Like talking about uh, prototype the other day with someone because um, they were just playing through the first game for the first time, and they were like, "Yeah, I, I haven't heard anything good about the sequel," and I was like, "Let me tell you why the sequel's bullshit." There are many, many reasons. Okay. Also, our fan just definitely got exploded. In <laughs> oh, <scene>. yeah. <laughs> Let's get the chopper and lift this baby out of here. Hey, guys, you can call up the helicopter. We'll do prototype two one of these days. <laughs> That's another one on the list. And you can. Honestly, we would have done it already if my computer hadn't gotten all fucky. Mm. I don't want to be some dude's man, you can... I'm surprised it hasn't crashed on us in the middle of this game. <laughs> Give it time. We've only been playing for like 10 minutes. True. Something to look forward to, folks. <laughs> Me editing together videos like, haphazardly, but well, with funny out. jokes. <laughs> just editing my voice. I'm not very good at streaming, but I'm pretty good at editing. <laughs> just editing my voice to make me say all the controversial opinions you've ever had. I think the NRA is kind of cool, guys. <laughs> nice, I got all those clean. <laughs> Uh, I thought you two really had something there. Throw this guy out the window. What is your problem? <laughs> or execute him. Frank Castle would have eaten this guy's face. <laughs> At the very least. Yeah. Oh, well. I was actually reading the Punisher Max stuff again, because... Um, again, someone mentioned it, and I was like, I haven't read that in at least a couple of years. And uh, Slaver's Ark, still one of the best I've ever read. Yep. That and uh, the Pretty one much all of Punisher Max is solid. Oh, yeah. I was actually reading Yeah, the, if anyone hasn't read it, it's good. The post Dennis stuff, which is sort of like, um, for lack of a better term, like an epilogue. And mm. I actually enjoyed that a hell of a lot more than I remember, because I remember it being okay. Um, but when I reread it, I was like, this actually wasn't terrible. That's surprising. Ball miracle. Mm. I haven't had this much fun in years! <laughs> Here's our ride! Oh yeah, with Shondi. Uh, the original version of her uh, from Saints Row 2, she was a complete stoner, played by Eliza Dushku. And in this, she's the complete opposite in terms of personality. Um, to the point that in Saints Row 4, you can actually get uh, her older version, who's known as Fun Shondi. You two go out the <laughs> and you? You stay with the bomb. We'll see you when we touch down. Alright, let's go! 
And they do kind of dump on characterization. Yeah. In this game, I noticed. Yeah, characterization. Saints Row 2 is actually like a good game. Oh yeah, legitimately. It's not it's just goofy wackiness. Legitimately, it is one of the better games of the PS3 360 era. Yeah, I love that game. Um, it is incredibly, even the like the 360 version is incredibly prone to glitching and crashing. It's a very mm -hmm. infamous version of a uh, uh, very infamous um, glitch in that version, which if you run into it, basically bricks your game forever. You can do, you can nice. um, uh, for the console version, you can like remove your delete your profile, you know redo everything on the, the game and it will never run more than a couple of minutes <laughs> sounds like something from an urban legend but all completely real things are something like the shadow man glitch yeah that game in particular was very glitchy and buggy and uh that's the only reason we're not playing it right now is because even the the PC version is not up to snuff. Yep. The PC version requires you to jump through so many hoops. Um, and even then, it's not even remotely stable. Otherwise, I would have totally gone for that. Yep. That's the one time they nailed the balance. Yep. Not too wacky, not too gritty. Yep. Yeah, but the grit's all gone. We're shooting people in the head, but it's still like silly goofiness. <laughs> still love that line. Turn yourselves in, my son wants to meet Shondi. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to start with a Fast and the Furious heist. Hmm. Where you don't even do most of it. In terms of impact, it's really good, but in terms of, you know, Gosh. gameplay and stuff, it may as well be a turret scheme, a turret scene. Yeah. It sets a tone, but, like, it's it's a lot, and the game can't keep up with it. Mm. And, of course, they have to set up some way for you to start from ground zero again. Yep. Actually, and... Metroidvania, this sucker. Yep. All right, character creator. This could take hours. <laughs> Strap in, fuckers. We're going to be here a while. All right, I'm <laughs> as clowned out as I'm going to get. Yep. I've been incredibly boring and have made myself, as always. Yep. If I'm not making a weird abomination, uh, then I, I have to put myself in. I always try to make the most uncomfortable looking character of all time. <laughs> oh, you can go to some great lengths with the Saints Row series. Yep. I was always fun in Rock Band as well. Mm. Someone paid more. I once made a band of all the default character, the same model of default character. To us. So it was just four of the same dude. Pussies. <laughs> Seriously. One Surprisingly my, disturbing when you see that in motion. One of my favorites was someone made a whole band of Dr. Robotniks. Mm. That was an impressive one. That's pretty metal. It's always about the money, Mr. Gat, which is precisely why our employer. Surprised no metal band has actually done that as a gimmick. <laughs> it opened for O Killy Do Killy. <laughs> Or, um, oh God, what was that power metal band that was all Arnold Schwarzenegger songs? Oh, God. That was um, of course. Austrian Death Machine. That's right. <laughs> Appropriate, because the lead singer tried to have his wife assassinated. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. chairman of a multinational organization called the Syndicate. Never heard of it. He is an actual death machine. Yep. Not a particularly nice man. Nay, gotta respect sticking to the bit, though. <laughs> Image is important but for extreme metal. Of course they're back, because now you can do anything in metal and get away with it. Yeah. Fucking, uh, Bill Anselmo's back. Mm. Like, a, like, like a particularly virulent STD. 
Yeah, I mean, he had to wait until all of his other bandmates died before yeah. he could make a comeback. Otherwise, they would have assassinated him themselves. Yeah, I, I think he was working on Highlander rules. He's the last one standing, so he gets the prize. And unfortunately, in this case, the prize is still living to be a shithead. Yep. And all the guys from Slayer are inexplicably allowed to continue touring. Mm. Tell them how you really love Diabolus and Musica. They really enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, I should <laughs> go and get that album signed. <laughs> you see how long it takes before they knock out all your teeth. <laughs> now, guys, it's a really cool album. I like the one. I like uh, especially when you were trying to rip off new metal and industrial all in one. Like, yep. top notch. <laughs> And that other one you did, Bloodlines, for the Dracula 2000 soundtrack. Oh, creme de la creme. Aged perfectly. <laughs> Aged about as well as the data was released. Yep. <laughs> and then just watch as Kerry King, King turns into a giant protoplasmic blob of rage. Yep. <laughs> Too bad your character is not in this cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen him yet, I don't think. Nope. But at least we get to, you know, see our costume mid cutscene. And the grand unveiling any moment now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you bit the zombie voice. <laughs> you damn right I do. A zombie clown. <laughs> I'd like to remind all passengers to remain seated and enjoy the flight. Um, if you hold down the sprint button while mm -hmm. attacking, uh, you do various different moves as well. Here's some relaxing music for your enjoyment. And the sprint button is... Shift. <laughs> I'm playing on controller. Ah. So <laughs> I guess I'll case, figure it out. I do not have a clue. <laughs> Round and pound. All right, motherfuckers. Find a parachute. I am Belgian. Same thing. I am going to cut that disrespectful tongue from your mouth. Oh, yeah? You would help any of your... Oh, that many. <laughs> and this crashing plane. Oh, you're about to die. Hopefully my character knows CPR. Uh, this uh, came out at the height of the um, regenerating health epidemic. Ah. And you can get upgrades to increase the speed at which that happens. Okay, that was God, I wish there was a regenerating health epidemic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my bones have grown back. <laughs> but not in the way which I'd hoped. Johnny, we're about to jump! <laughs> Right on. I'll see you in Oh, Johnny's dead. He'll be fine. There's a whole game dedicated to him being fine. <laughs> Nothing can kill Johnny Gap. Technically one and a half, because he shows up again midway through Central 4. Spoiler. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He's fine. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. I don't remember getting a uh, parachute, but I guess I did. I don't remember getting a machine gun either, but hey ho. I do remember getting my machine gun. I just had a pistol. I got close enough to a guy that I, like, robbed it right off his face. <laughs> <laughs> and this scene from the movie Shoot Him Up, starring Clive Owen. Yep, distinct lack of carrots, unfortunately. We can uh, mod in some carrots later. Yeah. I don't think there's any knives, but we absolutely should. Also, I love that film. It is the most violent anti-gun movie I've ever seen. It's wonderful. <laughs> Doing a great job handling these bad guys. Didn't even get one of them on screen <laughs> right that entire segment. Yeah, the, the one problem is that this game's got a really weird difficulty curve. 
you mm-hmm. will be going through big chunks of it absolutely fine nothing terrible happening and then you'll just run into one big area where you are just getting ganged left and right Weird timing where I touched Shandi and it didn't activate the cutscene where I grabbed her until like four seconds later. <laughs> what do you mean, don't freak out? I was this close to just zipping straight past her. You mean we, right? <laughs> it may well have been, a, have been that you saved her. <laughs> and I just got the cutscene. Yeah, all the dialogue changes well, depending on what uh, boss voice you have as well. Neat. I decided to go for uh, Cockney Boss, and uh, it's different. Which is the right choice. Naturally, it's it's the only canon choice. Yep. Um, that or our female Russian boss. And um, if you're playing as um, Troy Baker boss, he goes, uh, just remember how glad you were when I saved you. <laughs> and with this, he just goes, uh, no, it'll be great. Everything will be fine. Don't worry about it, love. How to keep it as appropriate to slang as possible. Although I doubt they do rhyming slang at any point. They did in Saints Row 2, if I remember correctly. Oh, nice. Yeah, I do remember some instances of rhyming slang. Mm. That's why Saints Row 2 is better than this game. <laughs> the guy that got to play Cockney Boss in Saints Row 2, I think, was one of the, was um, from the TV show The Nanny. And in mm-hmm. this, it's uh, Robin Atkin Downs. Better known as Travis it must have been Day. literally a hundred thousand feet in the air. Oh, we've been falling this long. <laughs> hundred thousand feet with uh, approximately seven million tons of cargo and cars. <laughs> yep. They do actually make a joke about it. <laughs> and there goes my second parachute, which I was definitely wearing. Backup ship. I yep. say that works right. Never leave home without two parachutes on. Never know when you're going to fall out of a plane. Twice. In the same day. It's so weird. Gentlemen, negotiations were less than... Success. Oh, the wrestler's back. Yep. <laughs> Different wrestler. This is Kilbane. Oh. And the Saints are not welcome. Uh, the other guy was Mero, I think. Mm. It was I know we owned him pretty bad in yeah. Saints Row 2. <laughs> what with the radioactive tattoo and all. That's not even his big finale. Mm. That's, barely, that's like Mission 3. Yeah. What they do to the wrestler is very, very memorable. It's like the world's worst prank war. Yeah. <laughs> it just keeps escalating. The thing that won me over in the entire Saints Row series was being able to drive by with a katana. Yeah. <laughs> but the next biggest thing that won me over was uh, when you get the uh, wrestler to kill his own girlfriend. Oh, uh, just that entire section is so fucking dark. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it is on another level. Close to being out of tone with the rest of the game. Yeah. That's more like uh, GTA than Saint Row. Yeah. A better term. There is no mercy. Only death. Don't mourn your friend. You'll be joining him soon. Loren's gonna pay for this. Steel part. It's kind of like bank. Yeah, you've got to dive roll somehow. <laughs> I found Sprint. Yep, if you sprint and jump, then you do a dive roll. You don't want to yep. Go. Nailed it. Look, I was really high the last time I was here. Just drive. It'll come back to me. Trying to figure out how to get into cars, though. Why don't you just look up friendly fire on your phone? Surely there's a way that, uh, there we go. It has GPS, right? Check your map. We can carpool. <laughs> I texted him. Ah, okay, now it's a very stuttery vehicle. Yeah, we raid the guard armory. Stuttering so bad that it got stuck on a pedestrian. 
Yeah, strangely, this game still not 100% great. Nay. <laughs> it's showing its age. We considered doing the remastered version, but... I don't know. It's, it's wrong to remaster your Grand Theft Auto clones. Yeah, like, it's arguably the better version. Um, yeah. At least graphically. But it also cuts out a lot of the rough edges that made the original so charming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want this thing to be a fucked up clown show. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> also, if I'm... Uh, like when I'm driving in the oncoming lane, it's giving me experience. Is that giving it to you as well? Or did I am not be driving? ostensibly getting experience here. Right. Okay, so it's just whoever happens to be driving. Yep. I feel like there should be a button for me to like grab the wheel and pull you into a phone telephone pole or something. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Right. Sorry. I'm, turns out I've been going completely the wrong direction. My bad. <laughs> That's why you drifted to a stop. Yeah, I was like, hang on a minute. Because for some reason, <laughs> it wasn't giving me the option to pick friendly fire. I'm going completely the wrong mm. way again. I promise I'm good at these games when no one else is watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the trick. It's much easier to be good at a game when you're alone. Yep. And it's a secret. <laughs> Well, you've thoroughly fucked up this car in a humorous way. That's okay, it wasn't mine. True. I'm dead. <laughs> My poor boss is jittering all around. <laughs> trying to keep up with the car. <laughs> Good thing you're a zombie because you would be dead by the end of this. Oh, yeah. I'm not even wearing a seatbelt. I would definitely be dead. Right, weapon upgrades. Yeah, literally all we can afford is the first upgrade for the Not Desert Eagle. Yeah, everything is pretty pricey. Oh, we got a walking beer. Like that, Surly. <laughs> I got us a golf cart. Nice. <laughs> Get in, Shondi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a second beer came to more and his friend. <laughs> yeah, one thing that's different about the uh, original version that's not say that's like really different compared to the remaster there's a lot more random um mascots riding around so you'll come across yeah. like random bottles of beer or saints flow um as opposed to this version which has them all over the place yeah it certainly adds flavor and texture. Mm. It is a rich, refreshing world <laughs> full of sentient booze. And cans of energy drink. Yep. Which, for someone who drinks as much as I do, that would be my worst nightmare. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh shit, bail. <laughs> Basically, you bailed from the universe. <laughs> All right. Yeah, After a deep. significant number of uh, struggles with issues beyond our control, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> and at the exact same point where we left off at the moment of disconnect. Repurchase my upgrade. Not far. It's on the GPS. Just let it go. Test out my new weapon. 
<laughs> oh, it's a two-seater. So oh, that will uh, serve our purposes. That's what Also a two-seater. Nice one, boss. Sometimes it sucks to have friends. Yep. Well, we'll stick with the shitty sedan. I've got a. Uh... Oh, yeah, you could join. You could follow along. Yeah, <laughs> we can both drive. <laughs> it needs to carpool. Exactly. We'll cause the apocalypse. <laughs> You're swerving across uh, across all the lanes. I'm driving in the wrong side. <laughs> Apparently, I killed a rival gang member. Yep. So that's Any good. red dots are either rival gang members or police. Nice. Briefly seemed like it wanted me to go to the clothes store. Yeah, we don't get to do any of the side missions or anything until we pass the first two or three um, story missions, and then the map right. really opens up. Maybe you should have thought about that before attacking an armory. Don't worry, Pierce has that covered. Where no man is safe. I'll get you in. It's the last thing I do. Set up all sorts of blockades to prevent me from going nuts in my car. They know that I'm too good at twisted metal. <laughs> it wouldn't stand a chance. You're gonna love the tank missions. I'm so good at twisted metal that I wedged my car into a spot where I literally cannot be moved. <laughs> Although I do have a bulldog which has a turret. Nice. And then I got pulled out of it by a that. soldier. Anything else, sunshine? Ooh, and a uh, full-on APC. Guys has some effective bulletproof vests. Mm. Yeah, headshots are pretty much mandatory when you're fighting the army. Look like UAV drone controls over here. I guess there's some like pistol spread because I was aiming pretty cleanly at their heads, but not getting headshots. Yep. I think there's also some damage mitigation just because they're blatantly wearing uh, helmets. Yep. I've still got it. Rise shield charge. Gotta respect the hustle. That guy took like seven shots from a shotgun. I'm. Not very surprised, unfortunately. I don't know if there's any um, health increases for multiplayer. Would not be yeah. surprised, though. Because there's definitely more enemies than single player. I really want to shoot these nukes. <laughs> It always gives me the X prompt to do stuff, but I'm on a PlayStation controller. <laughs> X just makes me jump. <laughs> but I explains why you were trying to hover into the ceiling half the time. Yep. Got a very hoppy clown. And enter the restricted zone. The boss won't leave without the bomb. You gotta be kidding me! Uh, that's 
launch some drone strikes. Yeah, looks like we've both got one. Oh, cool. Tanzaro loves staying relevant, apparently. <laughs> This is like Spec Ops the line, but far, far sillier. <laughs> and frankly, I think the world is ready for that. Yes, silly Spec Ops. <laughs> spec Ops the lol. Hey, maybe I have been hitting the helicopters. They just have so much health that it doesn't matter. Uh, so once we're loaded up uh, helicopters are on our side. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe don't. <laughs> just you know, Well, I've been hitting them anyway. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Green is a friendly, happy color. Not in my world. Yeah, these definitely have more health than in single player. Hmm. Now, honestly, I always have a kill them all mentality in every video game, so whenever they give me allies, I just try to kill them as well. Okay, so I hope we never wind up stranded together in the apocalypse. <laughs> Else my life is going to be much, much shorter than anticipated. <laughs> I made it to the apocalypse. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, normally I would have a pithy comment for that, but you're factually correct, and that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still got drones. Damn it! These guys are There's a tank parked right underneath our escape helicopter. <laughs> We just gotta run towards it haphazardly. Yeah, not saying that was a bad idea, Pierce, but you're a moron. Pierce, just keep going. We're this is a really intensely video gamey video game. <laughs> yep. I was also gonna say, kind of ironically mentioning Spec Ops the line when one of the first things we do after that is a fucking helicopter mission. Yep. <laughs> I haven't seen Spec Ops in a long time, and the Let's Play is basically unwatchable because the last video got uh, taken down. Mm. I was actually uh, replaying it a while back. Um, got it at Christmas right before it was delisted. Um, I decided to replay it again for old time's sake. One of the few games I've ever gotten 100% achievements on. Yeah, I mean, you're one of the world's foremost experts in Spec Ops The Line. <laughs> Which is, frankly, bizarre, and I don't know why or when that happened. <laughs> Mid-2010s. <laughs> well, you see, there was this uh, LP that I um, kind of lore-dumped in repeatedly. <laughs> it turned it into a lore litter box when you get down to it. They gave me nothing else to shoot, so <laughs> take that green helicopter. <laughs> happy color, happy. <laughs> Envy color. <laughs> what? No, this is my fight too. They really, really needed to put both bosses into the cutscenes. Yeah. Fuck you. I don't need another Dead Rising two off the record. <laughs> You're worried about real estate? We have guns. Let's use them. It's gonna be interesting to see there's um, a mission with Pierce where you uh, at the end of it you wind up singing along to a sublime song. It's gonna be interesting to hear what happens when um, uh, Zombie Boss does that. Yeah. I don't know what to expect there. I 
All right, side quests have been unlocked. Yep, now we can actually do stuff. And oh. <laughs> all the DLC, DLC has been unlocked. <laughs> I'll try to avoid DLC for the time being, but usually in these games, it is legitimately hard to avoid. Yep. All the um, outfits and so on God. are freely available. Um, same with the vehicles and the guns. This is literally like 20 announcements. How many microtransactions were there? <laughs> uh, literally, there were three DL two or three DLC story packs, and um, was it um, two or three story DLC packs? Uh, about a dozen, maybe twenty different outfit packs, uh, two or three car packs, and another couple of. Um, Weapon packs as well. Or that was going to be the entire rest of the game. Wants me to assign a hood takeover. Yeah. Which I guess is just passive income. Yep. Um, normally, you would need to do all the little activities and so forth in one area to take it over fully. Um, but that's just going, yeah, now you can just have that entire chunk of the game. Hmm. And dress up mode. For some reason I have a lot of outfits available to me. Yep, that's all the DLC. Of course. Well, I promised I wouldn't mess around with it too much, so. Yeah, first thing to do when playing the game is find all the shops and just start wearing stuff. Happiness is a loaded shotgun. That's very poetic. <laughs> the Beatles would be proud of their legacy. <laughs> Maybe not John Lennon. <laughs> Maybe police, not. We our shit and we can't get nothing done. Maybe you can thin them out a bit. Oh, I guess we can just start missions from the menu. <laughs> Bizarre. Um, um, you want to cause mayhem or try to advance the plot? Um, well, what we'll probably want to do is, um, I think it's maybe the next, or after the next mission that we actually unlock side activities. So mm -hmm. probably doing some of that uh, for the best. So I would say probably do some story stuff until we get all the side activities and then we can just dick about. That's fair. That's Are you just insurance frauding? Insurance fraud is one of my favorite activities in the game, I should say. It is pretty amazing. Also, I don't know if uh, that counts for you if I uh, when I pick that up. Oh, yeah. Awesome. There were plenty of sex dolls for both of us. Uh, just what I've always wanted to hear my friends tell me. This random driver is like killing our saints. <laughs> That's why you gotta proactively shoot them in the head. I always tell my gangsters that. Low <laughs> flying grandma. Now, from what I could tell. Oh, yeah, we gotta go to Smiling Jacks, I guess. Let's hijack something. I guess that means we're technically in a mission right now? Um, there's, I think this is a co-op mission, whatever that means. Yeah. I don't know I, I don't know if there, that means is like, stuff specifically for, like, co-op only. God, most of this cat's head is not meat. <laughs> He's killing us. <laughs> This cat is fucking immortal. <laughs> yeah. We gotta get ourselves a mascot costume. 
Oh, we've got that unlocked already. Well, true. We gotta get one that isn't ridiculously overpowered like this, I guess. Okay, this thing literally can't die. It's yeah. taking shotgun <laughs> plus point blank. Two shotguns. I don't know if we got a glitched one. Literally or... half a dozen saints backing us up. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a glitched one, like the um, the uh, legless cops <laughs> in Dead Rising. Uh, yeah. I've got him. I've kept him down. Nice. <laughs> He's back up. <laughs> oh god. We need to run from the Terminator cat. <laughs> also, I think we've got a flat. That... A little bit. <laughs> that would be hilarious if they just had, like, an immortal, unstoppable creature right next to our hideout <laughs> for the entire game. And any time we had to go back to the hideout, we had to fight our way through Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein was the name of the cat, not the monster. <laughs> Be like our own personal pyramid head. <laughs> it was a dark Representing our guilt from years of organized crime. Barely organized crime. But strangely, with even more molestation. Weirdest thing. Strangely, indeed. Johnny? Speaking of defilement. <gasps> oh, I think this is uh, one of the story DLCs. Hmm. Shit. Hey, shit. Yeah, this is uh, Gangsters in Space, I think. Yeah, speaking of Frankenstein, this guy's well on his way. I was wrong. Ew. So we are thoroughly failing to advance the actual storyline <laughs> as we intended <laughs> but on the other hand we're doing some weird david cronenberg shit I'm getting to that we do appreciate that So most of this is completely incomprehensible to anyone who didn't play Saints Row 2. Mm. I haven't played it in so long that it is incomprehensible to me. <laughs> well, let's go re-kill Gap. One hour into the game, and we're going to kill him twice. <laughs> oh, more than twice. <laughs> I suppose I was being optimistic. You have any idea where to start? Everything this town has to offer, and that would be his first stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you need to have to take on a clone of. Took a while to get in there, but okay. Good point. Got a bit of like brainless Randy going on from Ill Bleed. Try the next one. Indeed, their friend had not been to the purveyor of weapons close by. But perhaps the next merchant would prove more. I think music is playing right now. Some form of malfunction during what officials are saying. I don't know how to turn it off. Mm. Yeah, we're, we're going to kill all the music. It's too risky. Yeah. There. That will do this. Play our own local soundtrack. 
Currently, it's uh, Breathe from Mad World. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so you can play that in your head while the stream listens to it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think we killed everyone we were supposed to keep alive. Nah. Did we like accidentally aggro them or something? No, I think they were waiting for us. I'm probably gonna have to turn off zombie voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes the it's fun, but it makes the entire game incomprehensible. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what we can do is we can go to um, the Plastic Surgeons mm -hmm. and uh, you can change for, I think it's like $500, you can change the way your character looks um, and you can change your voice there as well. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably do that after this mission. Ready to vacate? So we are 3,000 feet from our goal. <laughs> and you've got the parachute ready. <laughs> In case we end up falling out of the sky at some point. Thing is, normally if you fall from a large enough height, you it does offer you the option of deploying your parachute in order to avoid fall damage. Nice. But unfortunately, so it's not just cosmetic. Nope. But unfortunately, you're rarely ever that high that it's going to be useful. So you deploy your parachute about three seconds before you hit the pavement. <laughs> cop was in the way. <laughs> I, think that's I don't see any like GTA star sort of system, so. Um, if you look at the mini-map, the mm -hmm. police is at, oh, the, there at the bottom. Um, any yeah. gangs show up at the top. Gotcha. So the morning star is like pink stars. Damn. And the more you piss them off, the more stuff they send at you. Saints did to my club. Hold up, man. We didn't have nothing to do with it. Hey, 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 yeah. Jesus. <laughs> that big guy came in screaming his name and something about stripper poles and then started trashing the place. People panicked and ran off. That night, we got the thing now. The building was being collapsed. Still waiting for an execute the hostage button. <laughs> And our rifles just do nothing. Yeah. Because they have so much health at this point. <laughs> just makes them dance. Yes, yeah, so I'm fairly certain that they have up the health values for multiplayer. I would hope so, because this is a lot of health they've got. Oh, yeah. That's the default, then uh, this game is weird. Oh, I should probably get back into the mission. Mm hmm which inexplicably requires me to stay inside of this particular domicile. I don't think most people would call a strip club a domicile, but you can't prove that it isn't. 
Yeah, I mean, I I have known a couple of people that have spent so much time in them. Yeah. Receive mail there. Whoa. Yeah, for a second there, I was like, oh god, is it gone, has it gone funny again? I mean, I thought I got, uh, like, ragdolled across the level. <laughs> so we played EDF last time, and that's exactly yep. what happened. <laughs> uh oh. Nap time. Not today. Yep. Oh, Our okay. family has saved us. <laughs> Okay, so I just mag dumped an entire clip into that guy's back. It's actually a miracle that they got the one hit kill achievement. Mm. By point blank shotgunning someone with no armor whatsoever. Yeah, shotguns are good for that. I mean, they seem to be just about the only weapon that is of any value whatsoever. That guy's not going to come in. We got to leave the mission. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Had to go out and deliver the bullet straight to his door. Yep. Now, I thought this mission was about fighting a giant mutant gat. Uh, Apparently, it's about fighting cops. Yeah. Will be eventually. You couldn't eject something better than this? That explains so much. You're so opposed to this vehicle that you refuse to get in. <laughs> Wasn't letting me get in properly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got a rocket launcher. Yeah, I didn't realize so do I, that I had a rocket launcher. I thought it was still using the pistol. Yeah, that could be a slight problem if we were to fire a rocket launcher from too close. I hear a giant mutant gat. Still don't see one. There he is. Our long-awaited cameo. <laughs> so this was like swerve midair. Yeah. Not even entirely sure why. I think they're supposed like to. Sometimes it's lock on. Yeah. It's supposed to be uh, lock on if you uh, uh, zoom in. Mm hmm. This is a good mission to do, like the achievements and stuff, because mm. we have infinite uh, rockets. <laughs> I think we've annoyed the police somewhat. I also think our vehicle is indestructible because look at this thing. I certainly hope so. <laughs> there's almost none of it left. Yeah, oh, man, this guy's mother's gonna be pissed. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. It still works. We need a windshield. I mean, I'm a stickler for it, but that's me. Sounds like a personal problem. Mm, I fully really accept that. There's another roadblock ahead. We have to get through it. These 
you guys seem to be more worried about us than the giant gat clone. I think that shot right the way through the 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 doors of the helicopter. Yeah, I believe it. It was doing that weird barrel roll. Mm. I couldn't edit. It blew up anyway, though, so... All's well that ends well. Explosion-wise. <laughs> that depends what end of the explosion you're on, I suppose. Hey, 45 police and SWAT vehicles while protecting the car. Glorious. It seems almost impossible not to get that. Yeah. You have to, like, not fire back at all. Which seems like it wouldn't matter. I don't think it's possible to lose this section. Yeah. I mean, at this point, the car literally has no engine. I can see under the hood. There's no engine there. Jimmy, someone replaced your mother's engine with a texture. Not a very good one. Yep. You might want to go to... Poorly aged. You might want to go see someone about that. Possibly an artist. I don't know. <laughs> Our car did finally blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit of overconfidence. <laughs> Hurry up and get out of here! He's got it! Right back to the start. Yeah. On, With a different car. Yeah, I made a mistake. This is the start of the troubles with the trouble with clones. Is, uh, right. I think it was the final story DLC. That explains so much. I can check out on my device here. We might be slightly over our depth. <laughs> Jimmy's a terrible driver, though. Doesn't know how to drive stick. Must be it. Which could be a euphemism. You know, I'm gay sex. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Accidentally shot the Saints Row headquarters <laughs> with a rocket launcher. Not even in the top 10 worst things that's happened to that place. And I mean today. True. Also doesn't help that now there's fucking snipers on the street. Yeah. At least we're getting a lot of experience. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how many times we have to do this. He's moving the goalposts every time we reach our goal. Yeah. I finished the base game, but I never got that far in the DLC, except for the Professor Genki stuff. Mm-hmm. Can't you find this? We're gonna lose him! Don't worry, I have a backup plan. I guess we won. Yay! Just stop it in the <laughs> middle of the street and call that a victory. Hell of a lot of cash for it. Oh, hell yeah. And a level up. One of the first things you'll want to get is a sprint increase because you cannot run for shit in this game. Right. Where the hell is it? I think it would be in abilities, but... Oh, there it is. Yep. Whoosh. Um, also, the general uh, ammo increases in combat 
always useful. Yeah. Make my bullets fly faster somehow. <laughs> it's because I push the gun while I'm firing. Put additional bullets into each bullet. Yeah. If it's good enough for um, Gears of War, then it works for me. There's the attached chainsaw to gun option. Sadly, not in this one. Criminal. Very much so. So do you have any idea where the plastic surgeon is? Uh, let me just find it on the map. Yeah, if you could locate that. Stop by there and then probably wrap up our first session of Saints Row uh, the Third. Ah, uh, that looks like the nearest one. Uh, let me just grab us a car and we can get in the way. I don't give a shit Hell what yeah. <laughs> Again, loser, we're getting plastic surgery. Out of my way. Now I'm ready for action. <laughs> ready for a night in the town. <laughs> gonna gacy this whole city. <laughs> but where can you find a house with that much of a crawl space? <laughs> Make my own. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty accomplished. Um, we even did one DLC mission. Yep. Just for the record, the story missions are all... Um, well, the, the bottom three are the DLC missions. Man, we gotta get a new plan. And the, um, one of the, the ones at the top are usually the story or... Um, doesn't mean we should get soft. Gang missions. Listen, yeah, I'm just realizing that now. But I went straight to the bottom of the list. <laughs> Not realizing that there was DLC. Yeah. No, I did the same. Um, I knew the Professor Genki stuff was obviously DLC. Um, but I forgot the <laughs> fucking dark side. <laughs> I did that. I took the tires out and made it swerve into you. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I can do this. Classic, is it? Nice. I mean, I don't think it's going to be much use to <laughs> no. because he <laughs> crashed halfway off a bridge. It has no tires. That was not fluke. Obviously, we can take a nice classy cement mixer, though. Oh, mix master. <laughs> this is definitely the most efficient way to get where we need to go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> See, once you get past the opening mission, then you can do the dumb shit. Fuck about. Yeah. We are really good at that. <laughs> I was trying to jump into the passenger seat. <laughs> Like the ghost from Matrix 2. <laughs> that should annoy somebody. <laughs> oh, God, that lady. Trying to pass between your vehicle and the, the big truck. So Sandwiched. Like, you, said, you said lady. I think you mean smeared on the floor. Yeah, former lady. Present fluid. <laughs> really, she's more of a gas at this point. <laughs> Solidus lady. <laughs> you are a disgrace. <laughs> nice turn. Thank you. Yeah, once you get some of these sports cars, you can actually do some proper drifts. Mm. It's this guy's deal.
You can take that one to the bank. <laughs> Someone's shooting at me there. Oh yeah, cop over there. Oh yeah, all the way across the street. <laughs> I can barely even see him. And then now we got no wheels. <laughs> I can still wrangle this thing. Hope. Yeah, it's like driving a steel pancake. That was my nickname in high school. Ah. I don't even know what that would mean. There's a couple of ideas, I, but none of them are particularly flattering. Legal. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> And our friend brought a replacement car. Speaking of legal. Drive to the mechanic. Is this just another tutorial mission? Yeah. The first batch of... Basically all of um, Pierce's missions to begin with are just showing you around, getting you used to everything. Ah. Well, then I'm glad I slipped in a DLC mission as well. Yep. And we got some actual action. I had a hell of a lot of cash. We have, frankly, too much money for this point yeah. of the game. Thankfully, in terms of upgrades, it's tied to your level. And mm. level four for this stage in the game, not that high. Um, as I said, I was playing through uh, a bit of the remastered stuff so that I could get access to um, outfits for customization. And mm -hmm. I think at this point, I was about level two or three. That was pointless. The weapon down. Now. Frame jobs. So right off the bat, we can basically pimp this car out. Yeah, we can. It's not a very good car. Probably start with a better base, but I'm sure they require you to buy some upgrades. Yep. You're required Naturally. to get at least one. Some Make sure this Barely letting our friend in. <laughs> like the game actually gives you a tutorial on how to change the radio channel as well. You are required to, need to change the channel. Yep. Well, the music's off anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> well, so much for that car. Plus, we can push it. Uh, um, and I don't have any nah. explosives. Sorry, Pierce. <laughs> Plenty more fish in the sea. Some of those fish happen to be two seaters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pierce, you're walking. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Any car that you take to rim jobs as well and you customize, you will get a copy of that for your own use. Okay, good. So if there's any that um, you, you don't have to pay for it um, and you can unlock a gang member who will deliver your car if you need it. Mm -hmm. And it will... Um, usually be uh, at, at, at least in as good condition, if not better. And thankfully, while you were raised in hell, Pierce stole a cop car and drove it to me. <laughs> so that we didn't fail the mission. Cop cars have terrible exhaust systems too. Yeah, they're also not that great. Yeah, like the cop cars. I mean, they look fancy. Yeah, they probably cost a lot. 
Like the cop cars in GTA were usually some of the better you could better ones you could get, and in yeah, this absolutely. they are absolutely shit. God, too many costumes. <laughs> yep. I'll probably spend too much time looking at those later. <laughs> uh, all clothing is unisex as well. Not, yeah. uh, not bound by gender rules here. Uh-huh. We've got a giant mutant coming our way. Yep. Um, some of the gangs have what they call specialists, and they'll be, like, super-powered or special enemies in some way. Hell of a way to find that out. While I'm shopping. Yeah, I just stopped to... Uh, come out after trying on a new t-shirt and uh oh hell is literally breaking loose yep i think that was a qte to try and save myself from that punch yep it's a really really short qte though oh yeah oh nice. the game is freaking out because you were caught in a very bad place yeah i was underneath the couch <laughs> they did not like that Old maid in the mouth. Learn that from the Punisher. But there we go. That wasn't even part of the tutorial. <laughs> just a happy accident. That was just a bit of fun just for us. <laughs> you clearly knew what you wanted to wear going in. Um just felt like picking something other than the uh, basic outfit. Yeah. Yeah, I will dress myself up for the next one. Off screen yeah. due to my excessive indecision. <laughs> uh, with the amount of cash that we got from that first mission, really the only thing that we can do that would give us any kind of unfair advantage would be upgrading weapons. Right. And even then, that's really just bigger clips, um, slightly faster firing, better accuracy, not actually more damage or anything. Mm -hmm. So not as bad as some games would have it. That's for damn sure. When I played Dragon Age, I accidentally got all the DLC with it. Oh, yeah. I've done that as well. I, um... I usually wind up buying the Game of the Year editions after they're, you know, done with all that. And inevitably, totally, yeah. the first thing I do is either ditch or sell all the DLC. Yep. See, I didn't know what items were a DLC and which ones weren't. They didn't really, like, give you any indication of what an item did yep. until you used it. <laughs> and I immediately made the goth girl who hates you uh, fall in love with me. Um... With, like, one 10 copper item. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The original had a bunch of items that you could uh, hand them to immediately get them to be your bestie. Yep. So that sort of made the whole arc a little uh, sped up <laughs> and unsatisfying. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 did that as well by accident. Um, you could get every character just by talking to them a few times. Um, mm. the parameters for the various thresholds for liking you and so forth were set, unfortunately, a bit too low. So literally doing two or three actions that they approved of and they were ready to jump you. Yeesh. Um, which is hilarious when you literally just meet the seven foot tall um, demon um, who mm -hmm. is literally burning hot and she's like, so... I saw what you did, and I kind of like what you do. It's like, all I did, <laughs> literally, was give a um, an orphan a sandwich. Like, you're either incredibly easy or incredibly desperate, and I'm okay with both of those things. You got three approval points. Let's fuck. Basically. <laughs> Although in her case, because she her body temperature is literally too high to touch, 
in her case, it's <laughs> um, so I'm going to be over there, make on the other side of the camp, making some interesting noises, just you know, in case you wanted to listen in or anything. It's like I don't know how to deal with this information. <laughs> That's mutual masturbate. <laughs> Literally, that's what she says. It's like, um... I need to play more Baldur's Gate 3, apparently. I mean, I was hoping that you would just say hi, but, you know, you do you. <laughs> Literally, in this case. So, yeah, we could have our suplex the train moment, and it wouldn't even matter. Honestly, it, would pro it wouldn't even rank in the top 10 weirdest things in this game. Yep. It would just be normal. And we'll see plenty more normal train suplexes <laughs> when we return to Saints Row 2. Three. I'm going to do that a lot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>